Good morning. Today we're looking at example four, building a table of mortgage payments in section 6.1, evaluating and graphing functions of several variables out of business calculus with Excel. This is very similar to example three in that we're building a table with two different inputs. This time we're going to use the payment command from Excel where payment is PMT of the period rate times the number of comma the number of periods, comma minus the principal. We need to note that there are 12 periods or months in a year since mortgages normally are paid monthly and adjust our numbers accordingly. If we look at the basic setup for the table, our principal is in B1, so that gets carried across. Our number of years will have to be multiplied by five to get the number of payments, and our annual rate is divided by 12 to get the monthly rate. Our number of years is going up by 5. We're looking at from 5 to 40. And our annual rate is going up by half a percent, looking at rates from 3 to 5 percent. And so this is set up to do a $100,000 mortgage. I then can take it and see a $100,000 mortgage for five years at 3 percent is $1,796. I copy across, I copy down, and also copy across, and I'll get that a 30-year mortgage on the same, at the same interest rate is $421. If the rate goes up to 6%, it's about $600. What's worth noting as we look at this, it has been set up so that the principal is an absolute reference, and it copies over exactly the number of periods is based on the number of years. It stays the same as long as we have the number of years, but it changes with the number of years, and the period rate changes with the annual rate. Once again, this lets us build up tables that have two different dimensions, so we could compare easily and at a glance how much I can afford depending on how long the mortgage is and what the interest rate is, and for a given, a given principle, how much my payments will be. Thank you.